Hello, so this is going to be uh, an unscripted rant about the riots that are going on in Minneapolis. Um, I, I honestly don't feel like doing a freaking script for this, to be honest. I, I just wanted to, like, but I felt like doing a quick video on this anyway, because, um, you know, this is like, you know, shit's going down, and I figured, heh, you know what, I'll give my thoughts on it. So, Ryan of the Alternative Hypothesis just today actually did a video where he actually showed, like, different data and statistics that actually proved that black people are actually not institutionally discriminated against, contrary to what the left thinks. In fact, if anything, it's the opposite. So, statistically, claims of white privilege and systemic racism are actually not true. So, if anything, the black rioters, and it is a riot, and almost all of the people in these riots are black, so I think it's fair to call this a black riot. These people are privileged. Now, in the case of this individual cop, it does, it does look like this individual cop did a bad thing, and it does look like he should go to jail, but we have to wait and see how the trial pr plays out. But, you know, these rioters, they're privileged, they're not really oppressed, they only believe that they're oppressed because the cathedral is telling them that they're oppressed, as Ryan rightfully pointed out in his video. Okay, what else do I want to say? Oh yes, 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 yes. The next thing that I want to talk about. Um, there's this freaking narrative that's like being pushed by the left and shit of like quote unquote white supremacists and of course I'm using the term white supremacist in quotes because what the left considers to be white supremacists is like very very broad at this point quote unquote white supremacists according to the left are deliberately going into these riots dressed up as like BLM protesters and setting buildings and shit on fire in order to make black people look bad. And the left is, of course, pushing this narrative in order to pin the riots on quote-unquote white supremacists rather than, you know, rather than the BLM. I have, of course, there's no evidence, at least none that I know of, that quote-unquote white supremacists are involved in any way, shape, or form in these riots, but it also, it's not just that there's no evidence. The freaking narrative that people like Vosh are pushing makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. What on earth would a quote-unquote white supremacist, which, by the way, white, white supremacists true white supremacists basically don't exist. A white supremacist, if we're going by the actual definition of the word, is a person who thinks white people are superior to non-whites. That, that belief system basically does not exist anymore. Like, it's basically gone. Like, you wouldn't be able to fill an entire football stadium if you rounded up all the people in the world that actually believe the white race is superior to all other races. But I digress. Quote unquote white supremacists would not gain anything from setting shit on fire. Because if they did do that, the police, especially in these leftist the cities, would immediately go after these people, put them in prison, put them away for as long as possible and then parade 
them around and be like, oh, it, it's actually white supremacists that are doing this in order to make so-called white supremacists look bad, in order to make white nationalists look bad. So, quote-unquote white supremacists would have absolutely nothing to gain by setting shit on fire or by acting as agent provocateurs to make the riot worse because there would be too much they, they would sim they would simply have a lot to lose and very little to gain you know if if quote unquote white supremacists want to make black people look bad which is what the the left says is response is the reason why these so-called white supremacists are setting shit on fire then they would just have to like literally sit back and watch TV because the black rioters are already making themselves look bad. You know, white so-called white supremacists going in and setting more shit on fire is not going to make the blacks look any worse, and it's just going to make the white the cult, the so-called white supremacists look like shit. Anyway, wh what was the third thing that I wanted to talk about? Yes, okay, the last thing that I want to talk about. Okay, people who are part of the uh, demographic of people that support Trump, and I'm not just talking about race here, I'm talking like cultural too. We need our own fucking society. We need our own country. We need the red states to become an independent country. And this, these recent riots prove that. We need to separate the red areas from the blue areas. We need an ethnostate. Yeah, we need an ethnostate. Do you want, do you really want to live around the type of people of any race, mind you, that would cause destruction to their own communities because they've been indoctrinated into thinking that they've been oppressed e even if they're white like for forget about race for a moment D do you really want to live around the type of people that subscribe to the ideology that is motivating these riots like for, again, forget about race for a second. Just the type of people who vote Democrat. No, I don't want to live around those types of people if they're going to do this shit. I want my own state. Yeah, we need, we need secession. We need the red states to break away from the blue states. Now, I'm not, now for legal purposes, I'm not calling for violence. I don't want any any violence, but I think we need a peaceful separation. Okay. Those are my th main thoughts. Uh, black people are not oppressed. They've been indoctrinated into thinking that they're oppressed. If anything, they're privileged. If you don't believe me, watch alternative hypothesis is recent video on that and we need our own fucking society thanks for watching if you enjoyed me doing this unscripted rant or agreed with anything that I said make sure you like comment and subscribe this is Wolf signing out